Okay, uh, thank you everyone for coming here uh, today. For those of you who do not know me, uh, my name is Drew Dennert. I am serving my second term in the District 3 State House. Uh, I live here in Aberdeen with my wife Ashton, who is here today. Um, we have a farm and ranch that is just north of Aberdeen, about 15 miles. So that's my day job when we're not uh, in session. Uh, this year I'm going to be serving uh, as the Vice Chairman of the House Taxation Committee. Uh, I've served on the Taxation Committee my first two years, so I'm looking forward to continuing my service on the Taxation Committee. And then this year I am also on the State Affairs Committee, um, where we see quite a few bills. Just one thing for housekeeping, Representative St. John asked me to let you know, her brother is in the hospital in Fargo today, so unfortunately she is not going to be able to make it. So. If you would keep her and her family in your prayers, I know that would be greatly appreciated from her. Um, so as I was saying about committees and, and bills, the State Affairs Committee, we have, uh, we have a meeting right away, Monday morning, 7.45, so I'll be taking off from here uh, tomorrow afternoon right away. So far in the legislature, we have seen, so far it's been a reduction of bills compared to last year, but it is starting to pick up a little bit more now. Uh, so far we've had 170 House bills filed. 140 Senate bills, five House commemorations, uh, 11 Senate commemorations, two House concurrent resolutions, seven, seven Senate concurrent resolutions, six House joint resolutions, three Senate joint resolutions, and one Senate resolution. So that comes up to a total of 345 total pieces of legislation that we've seen. And over 100 bills yesterday were dropped alone. So I apologize, I haven't had time to read all those bills quite yet. Um, but I'm anticipating a flurry of bills to be introduced uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And then Wednesday is the final day for bill introduction. Yesterday was the final day for unlimited bill introduction. That's why we had over 100 bills uh, dropped. Uh, as mentioned before, yesterday was a good day for Northern and a good day for Aberdeen and Brown County. Uh, the Northern Regional Stadium Bill, House Bill 1037, passed out of joint appropriations with only one no vote. And then the Elm Lake Dam appropriation, the total cost of that is about one and a half million dollars. And the state is right now appropriating under Senate Bill 34, $521,000. And so this, the city of Aberdeen would pay the rest of that, but the state is gonna hopefully be willing to chip in 521,000 for that project. Um, one more thing that I wanted to do before my opening remarks are finished. I have a legislative commemoration uh, that I was the prime sponsor on, and I'm going to go ahead and read that real quick. It's for the, the Northern basketball team, the 2017-2018. It was introduced, I was the prime sponsor on the House side, and then Representative Perry and Representative Weiss were co-sponsors, and then Senator Nordstrup was the Senate prime, and Senator Greenfield was a co-sponsor from the Senate, so it was actually the, the, the five of us that are here today. Uh, it says a legislative commemoration honoring and commending the 2017-2018 Northern State University Men Wolves men's basketball team for placing second in the NCAA Division II National Tournament. Whereas the Northern State University men's basketball team had a phenomenal season with a record of 36-4 and and won the Northern Sun Conference for the first time in 15 years. And whereas the Wolves beat Queens of North Carolina 105-99 in double overtime semifinals at the Sanford Pentagon in Sioux Falls to make it to the championship game, and whereas the program received superior coaching and outstanding leadership from head coach Paul Sadek and assistant coach Sundan Wicks, and whereas the Wolves won more games and advanced further than any previous Northern State University men's basketball team in the program's NCAA Division II history. Now, therefore, be it commemorated by the 94th Legislature of the State of South Dakota that the legislature commends and honors the Northern State University men's basketball team for its teamwork, hard work, and incredible dedication in its achievements during the 2017-28 season. And that is signed by both Larry Roden, President of the Senate, and Steve Haugard, Speaker of the House. So I wanted to present that to President Downs. I'm sorry that Coach Sather and his staff couldn't be here. They're, they're on the road playing out of town. Our athletic director is at the NCAA National Conference. The thing about our student athletes, we're so proud of all the teams. The overall GPA of our student athletes is 3.3. All 15 teams have above a 3.0 GPA. 
they're great students who also happen to be great athletes. And they gave great representation for Northern and all of this region of South Dakota with 1.2 million people watching the final game. And we set all the attendance records at the Pentagon. So it's really a precedent and a point of pride. So thank you for recognizing that we cherish this.